If you've received a ProRes file from a Live Studios, which is a .move, and you're having trouble importing it into your chosen edit suite, I'm going to show you how to convert it to a MPEG-4 format using a piece of software called Handbrake, which is completely free. Uh, this is the website, and if you click on Downloads, you can see that there's a Mac version and a Windows version. So on my desktop, I've got a small piece of 16 millimeter film here so if I just play it you can see that it's Apple ProRes 422 uh, is in HD 1920 by 1080 and the average bit rate is 116 megabits a second so let's just pause that and hide that let's load handbrake straight away it asks you what you want to convert I'm going to select that 16 mil film Okay, so it's imported. The first thing I do is click the high profile. This ticks the large file setting. It's going to convert it to an MPEG-4 format. The video codec is H.264, and we want to select the average bit rate. And in here, we want to go to, let's go to about 30,000 and go to two pass. This slider bar here is a very important part. If you go super fast, ultra fast, very fast. It means that it will render it faster, but you could get pixelation and break up within the film. So I would go for something like slow or very slow. There's no hard and fast rule here, but I would start with slower. From the X264 tune, I would select film. Even if it's cinefilm or videotape or high 8 I'd still select film. Uh, you can leave these two alone, that's absolutely fine. And if I click start, you can see here it's starting to convert the ProRes file to the uh, MPEG-4. Handbrake has now finished the conversion and I've got the MPEG-4 file on the right and the ProRes version on the left. And if we remember, we've got the ProRes file at 116 megabits a second and the MPEG-4 file at 30 megabits a second. But as you can see, if I just leave them paused, there's no great visual difference between the two. Uh, start them playing. There's that one going. You can see they look very, very similar. The only real difference is, is that the pillow boxes on the ProRes version, and the reason that they're there is because we add these for the TV, so you've got a 16 by 9 ratio on the ProRes version. And what Handbrake does is it removes the pillow boxes by cropping them out. And I'll show you how to stop it doing that if you want to. Uh, see at the bottom of here, look, we had a source file of 1920 by 1080, but it's actually outputted it at 1514 by 1080. And you can see here we've got crop auto. So it's taking off 202 on one side and 204 off the other. So if I click picture settings and take automatic off and put it to custom if I put this to zero and this side to zero I should get a source of 1920 by 1080 and an output of 1920 by 1080 and then if I start the encoding again I will have the pillow boxes on the uh, MPEG-4 version now even though there were no visual difference with the ProRes and the MPEG-4 I can assure you there's a lot more information in the background of the ProRes version so always keep that as your archive backup copy.